All right, guys, how you doing? Steve Smith here with House to Home Realty Solution. Uh, as a real estate agent here in town, one of the things that we see a lot of times is a really, really bad caulk job, like this picture. And what we want to do is we want to help you prevent making these bad caulking decisions. So one, one thing that uh, I thought I would do is show you a video on how to do a really nice caulk job. So this is a bathroom I've been doing in my house. We turned a, a walk-in closet into a, a full bathroom. And I wanted you to see in this bathroom this caulk job with nice, perfect, straight, clean line. And what I want to do is explain to you how you can do it too. I'm here in the workshop and uh, one of the things, the common problems I see as a real estate agent when I go through houses is people do really bad caulk jobs. So I want to show you just for a few minutes things that you can do to make that finish on that caulk look really good and make your house look a lot sharper. A great caulk job and a really good paint job makes all the difference in the finishes on your house. So the first thing I would say is if you're getting ready to caulk something, you need to open the caulk tube properly. You don't want to make the hole too big and you don't want to make it flat. You want to make it nice and small right off the tip at an angle, 45 degree angle, just like this. Just cut it, make a nice 45 degree angle on that tube. And that's about the size of a hole that you want on your, on your caulking tube. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make. Wait, let me zoom out. All right, that's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna poke my hole in this caulk. And I wanna show you how the standard person does a caulking job. So what the typical person does, a big mistake that a lot of people make is they put too much caulk on their thing. So I'm going to use this black caulk against the, this white trim. And I'm just going to pretend that this is the edge of a sink to the wall. Okay? Okay. So they'll use too much. They'll start caulking and they will put too much caulk in there. Like this. And then another mistake is if you have a, a caulk gun that doesn't have an automatic release, they don't turn the release off so the pressure quits pushing caulk out of the tube. So that's one thing you want to do. The other thing you want to do is you always want to have a wet rag. Moisture is your friend when you're doing a caulking job. I'm going to clean that tube off and I'm going to show you what happens. So now I've got too much caulk in my seam, and now I want to run my finger across it. And what happens when you put too much caulk in there is it's going to ease out the size of my finger. Like that. Ew! Like that. And this is what the typical person does when they're doing a caulk job. Right here. And it looks awful. So. How do you prevent doing that? Well, let me give you first a couple suggestions. First, you do something like this. You use tape. Tape is the secret. If you want to have a really nice caulk line, tape it. So I'm going to run my tape across here. I'm going to make a nice, straight line like that. I want to make a straight line on what is our countertop. And then I'm going to turn up and I'm going to make a straight line on what represents our wall. Like that.
All right, so now we have taped now the key is not to put, is to put just the right amount of caulk in there. You don't want to put too much. It's always, it's people tendency to always put too much caulk on these seams. And I'm going to put a nice small bead along here, just like that. Caulk gun. I'm gonna wet my finger. The moisture on there, and then you don't want to push your finger too tight. You just want to put a nice, even pressure in there. Here we go. Okay. Do one more pass. I'm gonna clean my finger off. And then I'm going to run it one more time with my wet finger. Now, this is very important. You want to move this tape immediately before that caulk starts setting. Just like that. I'm going to come away from the wall. Be careful because you got wet caulk on that tape. I'm going to hand that to Malachi. You can throw that away. I'm going to do the top and you've got a perfect Dad. bead of caulk. Look at the difference. That bead versus that bead. If you will follow just that simple piece of advice, that will go a long way in making your house look much cleaner and much nicer. Thank you. Yeah, so my name is Steven Smith and I'm a licensed realtor here on the south side of Indianapolis and my business partner's name is Jeremiah Mattingly and we own House to Home Realty Solution uh, here in town and uh, we're going to be putting together just some small videos like this one to, to teach you some basic things that you can do to help clean up your house. Uh, our next video is going to be about how to, to make really nice crisp paint line uh, on your wall when you're painting, uh, which makes a big difference when it goes time to sell your house. If you'd like to learn more about us, please visit our website at www.indiehousetohome.com. That's indiehousetohome.com, and we'll see you soon.